I wonder for a racer who is <laughs> a little afraid of heights if that will make him faster to the bottom or slower. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan and quite a question to ponder and I'd wonder if any racers afraid of heights would even <laughs> want to take to such a career. Bowser and Yoshi will kick things off today. Group 4, video 4 of this Mario Super Tournament with uh, quite a tall hill right after that first uh, drop. Bowser, oh, loses all the speed down the back straight in that Mach 8, and he'll come up short. 8.77, though, on the clock. All right. Blue spiny shell, Donkey Kong in the sneaker. We get the next set of racers out there. Sneaker. Looking pretty strong out of the gate and trying to pull up a couple lengths, but he falls behind. Blue Shell always seeking first place, so doing so on his own as well, but falling behind here at the end by a length, and the sneaker overtakes. Unfortunately, Blue Shell being a racer instead of an item this time could not put on that blast radius to spin him out of control. Peach in the Mach 8, Donkey Kong in that pipe frame. Peach in the Mach 8 off to a terrible start. You saw the nose of the car bump all around, but she's back to having some speed. Turns around that hairpin at lightning speed. Um, that's kind of tended there, by the way, referencing that lightning item. We might see that. Donkey Kong puts on a nice defensive block and puts her away, actually. wonder if lightning can uh, manifest well enough to become a animate kart racer. Wario and Bomb Bomb Koopa. Bomb Bomb Koopa. Man, I did not expect to see him here. And he might not hang around lo uh, very long. Wario in that bad wagon, looking very strong. Up by many lengths. He does have an outside line here. Gives a chance for the Koopa. Ooh, no. No ground made up. No acceleration. Oh, he goes for a roadblock. And he's knocked across a risky move for seemingly no reason, really. And it paid off. I mean, what was the, the thought process there to let Koopa back in? While Ouija and bob -omb. It worked out, but again, I, I just think that was silly. It shows that some of these racers really don't think through their movements. And maybe just don't care as much about winning as you may think. bob -omb trying to pull up speed here at the end and accelerates down that last hill. Only down by a length. The bad wagon cuts inside and has the bob -omb cut off. Yes. That's an exciting defensive move. Now that is uh, the antithesis compared um, to Wario in the previous race who just <laughs> almost threw it away. Well, Luigi put on quite a intelligent movement right there at the end, cut him off, and there's no chance. And right at the time where there was not any time for the bob -omb to really dive away and try to pass on the other lane. Peach and uh, Moai, I think, is the name of that thing. And well, <laughs> quite a close race actually comes up short. I mean, all the speed kind of went out the sides at the end for him, and, well, by a nose, Peach. Dry Bowser and Wallaby G in that Pee-Wee. Let's get him rolling. Dry Bowser, Waluigi, P-Wing. Oh, started well. Now down a few lengths. Outside line, though, has an inside line to work with. Let's see if he'll speed up over these smaller rolling hills. Dry Bowser starting to slow down a little bit. Waluigi's fighting back into it, but no acceleration out of the hairpin. And Dry Bowser is going to put the standard card on the board. Not impressive times overall so far from any of these racers. A lot of times around the 9-second mark when we saw as low as, I believe, 8.37 from some other racers in different videos. So... Really not your fastest group so far, but um, maybe uh, later on in the rounds when we start to find the faster of this video, we might see something a little more record-breaking. Diddy Kong just blowing away the competition. I mean, Cheap Cheap really, with uh, really no hands, is going to struggle to have any control on his card. He's just going to turn there and give up. Um, so not really a big challenge, but uh, Diddy Kong will blow him away with a nice time, too, as I was talking about. 8.46, and that will be a strong start for Diddy Kong. Second round. Let's see. Four and four, eight racers, a couple Donkey Kongs in there, Bad Wagon and Sneaker. Remember, the Wario in that Bad Wagon last time really didn't think things through, and he's put out of control 
towards the end of the race. Let's see how he goes. Wario in the bad wagon, coming out a few lengths ahead through these last couple of hills and still has the lead. The sneaker inside line, down by a couple wheel lengths, now a couple more lengths, and Wario stays straight this time. No fooling around. Still a real terrible time, 9.31, but good enough to move on. Diddy Kong and Peach in the standard car. Diddy Kong quite fast last time. Peach less so. She might have been the 8.77 time, so it's still going to be close here. Let's see how Diddy Kong races. Already out a few lengths. Peach fighting back into it down by a length and less. Now she's in the lead through the inside line. She's got the lead, but Diddy Kong accelerates out of that hairpin and puts it away 8.78. Not an overwhelming time, but again, good enough. Bowser in the standard cart. We'll dry Bowser. And Waluigi. Waluigi, a smart racer. He really was no nonsense last time, but how will he fare against dry Bowser? That's really the question here. The only question worth answering. Dry Bowser out for a lead. Waluigi accelerating out of the smaller hills. Now only down by a length. Starts to push towards the end, but it gets rammed against the side and just had trouble staying off the rail. And dry Bowser will coast to a win. See the struggle. Donkey Kong pipe frame, Yoshi in the classic B Dasher, of which we see a lot of, um, for sure, in these videos. B Dashers are very dominant. Here comes Donkey Kong out by a few lengths and ooh, pulling that weight through. Still fast. It's close to the end. Yoshi on the far side. Oh, we couldn't stay straight. I think he got a little hesitant next to quite a large racer. And he's going to be left away by a couple lengths of the wheel. Semi-finals. We have our four best here of this group. All heavyweights, except for maybe Diddy Kong. But I'm sure in a few years he'll pack on those pounds. Diddy Kong and Dry Bowser. Here we go. Up, round that hairpin they go. For the third time, I believe, for both of them. And Dry Bowser is uh, lagging a few lengths. Diddy Kong trying to put up a new best time, and this might be it. 8.62, so not so. Good finish, and he'll be in the finals. Donkey Kong and the Bad Wagon. Wario. Again, looking for something a little faster, hopefully, time wise. This group has not blown me away. No exciting record breaks yet. Here we go. Donkey Kong on the near side. Looking about four lengths ahead through the final turn and blows out Wario. And he'll have that win with an 8.72. And now let's speed over to the finals and take a look at what we got here. We got two pipe frames and we got two apes. And uh, while we're on the subject of two, two stars on each of those pipe frames in that front logo uh, emblem, whatever you call it. But unfortunately, four wheels, so. Well, that's not unfortunate, that's really just what it is. Diddy Kong up by a few, 8.69. I wonder how two wheel racing would look. That might be fun. It's gonna be best time here. Diddy Kong uh, starting better than Donkey Kong. Let's see how Donkey Kong fares now with the inside line out of the gate. And he had the lead there for a second, but Diddy Kong screams back into the lead, and he might put up another good time. And that he will. What is it going to be? 8.71. So not even better than his first one, but um, a little bit. Well, still a win against Donkey Kong. Here we go. Best time. Can Donkey Kong beat it? I mean, I'm, I'm not too uh, anticipatory of that. Well... <laughs> Because Donkey Kong has just been slow throughout the whole finals. And Diddy Kong, again, fast through this first sector. Out, here comes Donkey Kong trying to accelerate, trying to give it everything he's got. Diddy Kong cuts him off, gets the best time he's gotten in his finals. And we'll move on slow overall, but fast in this group. 8.65 will do it. There are your four in the finals. Who will make it next time? Subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.